Hello everyone, so today we'll be talking about very important thing whether you need to appear for FMG exam if you are planning to go to US and appear for USMLE exam. Okay, the answer is very straightforward. So if you let's say you're a medical student, well, let's say you are from India and you went to medical school abroad, like for example, China, Russia, Ukraine or any other countries. Now you would have medical diploma of that country. If you want and you would of course have license for that country right because you did your medical school there if you want to come back to your home country in India you have to appear for foreign medical graduate examination and get license in India in order to practice in India okay so let's say you are from India you went abroad for medical school if you want to come back to India you have to appear for FMG exam and get license if you want to practice as a medical officer or if you want to pursue further training or residencies okay now let's say you are from India you went to abroad for medical schools if you directly want to go to US you don't have to appear for FMG exams you can directly prepare for USMLE exams appear for USMLE exams step one step two get your ECFMG certificate and directly move to US for your residency if you match okay now FMG exam is I would say Kind of more like memorization as compared to USMLE exam which is more clinical based but one advice which I give to all the students if your ultimate plan is to prepare for USMLE you should rather prepare for USMLE from beginning which is going to make your FMG preparation anyways easier right and if you're preparing for USMLE that's going to make your FMG preparation way easier FMG is kind of more on memorization and they are trying to change more to towards clinical aspect which is a good thing okay and the pass rate of FMG exam is kind of on the lower side, whereas of year assembly step one is around 60%. Well, around 60 to 70% of the IMGs, international medical graduates, eventually match into US system. Okay. The other important thing to note here, if you are a graduate from uh, another country, and if you want to appear for year assembly, make sure you go to the US assembly website and ECFMG website and make sure you meet all the eligibility criteria, okay? Like for example, you have to go to ECFMG website, the IWA ECFMG website, and you should have the following documents, right? You should have valid passport, you should have medical school diploma if you are a graduate, that's a certificate of graduation. Or if you are currently enrolled, then you should have the current proof of enrollment, okay? And then you would need medical school transcript detailing all the completed coursework and everything what you did in your medical school then uh, you would need form 186 which is certification of identification form completed and notarized you should have a passport size photograph and uh, if you have mismatch in your name like for example if your if your passport has your first name middle name and last name and if your medical school has just first name and last name you would need a, you would need a name certificate saying that these two person are the same person okay so you need that name certificate and very very important thing your school should be registered in world directly of medical schools okay that's uh, that's very important so make sure your school is registered in that website wdoms if not there is a process you just have to go through the instruction contact your dean and make your school eligible for USMLE okay the process is kind of all written in the website you just have to follow those steps your dean has to forward and sign some of the paperwork so you just have to follow that and get your school registered in world directory of medical schools okay so that's the bottom line so depending on where you want to go but i would say regardless where you decide to go if you prepare for your assembly everything is ultimately going to be easier for you okay because it's all clinical based exam and if you are preparing for your assembly we have your assembly step one course if you want someone to just hold your hand from the beginning and take you to the end roll this course is designed for you okay this is first aid based course we have over 500 students and over 98 percent pass rate and i really want you to go to the website usmlestrike.com go to the courses section and check out the free videos either in the website or the app okay and see if that resonates with your learning style okay regardless of what level of preparation you are whether you are in second year or third year or intern 
or you have already graduated or if you have 10 years of graduation gap okay this course will suit you okay one other question which i get asked frequently i have so many years of graduation or i have this many years of gap is does that matter i would say don't worry about that focus on your usmle preparation those are the things which you cannot change okay now focus on the things which you can change and empower your cv thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and share that with your friends Thank you.